Hey guys, <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> it's been a while since I've done this. What's up you guys, it's Insomniac. It is currently 9.21 p.m. and I am not playing The Sims 4 instead of sleeping because I'm not even supposed to be sleeping right now. I am watching a Sims 4 trailer instead. I'm gonna take these off for a second. This is my first ever trailer reaction video, so if it flops, it will be my only trailer reaction video. <laughs> I have not watched this trailer yet. Um, I don't really know much about werewolves, honestly. I'm just putting that forward. I never got into Twilight. I don't know what to expect. Am I a little terrified? Yes. Does that mean I'm not excited? Possibly. I have seen the thumbnail image and I am a little concerned, but I'm going to try to hold all of my reservations back until after I see the game footage. Do you want to watch the video with me? Hmm? Do you want to watch the werewolf video with me? You want to see your cousins? Uh, don't act like you can't be bothered by me. Don't act like you don't want anything to do with me. You were just begging me to get up here. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. If the werewolves in this game are anything like that, I don't want anything to do with them. If you hear any uh, little scratching or paws, it is not, in fact, a werewolf coming to get me. I do have three dogs and they're all sitting right here because I am home alone and they're all wanting my attention. Okay, this has got to be a new world. It looks a little bit like Granite, Granite Falls. Oh, I'm digging this. Okay, she's getting, ch she's getting, she is getting chased or she is the werewolf. Is she the werewolf? Oh, she got bit by the werewolf. Oh. Taylor Swift and Cats, is that you? <gasps> So everyone in this town is a werewolf. Is that the deal? Is that the tea? Is this a Strangerville situation where there's like a military presence? I love her hair and I love her top. Okay, this is what the transformation looks like. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, so they can fight like vampires. I'm all about that. Oh, I was about to say, can you kill each other? Oh, they're friends. Oh. Once again, not a werewolf, just my ferocious two and a half year old grown up puppy, Clark. Okay, I just watched it again off camera, again, uh, cause I needed, I need, that was a lot to process. Um, not to mention that each shot was like 0.2 seconds long. Um, all right, uh, hold on. Hey, 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 stop the violence. Just initial observations. It looks like we're getting a new world, which I think was already kind of revealed or teased, which is awesome. Um, I'm always down for another world, except for the fact that it means it's gonna take me even longer to uh, build out my save file. It looks like it's kind of like a Granite Falls uh, Evergreen Harbor mashup, 
which I'm down for, um, especially since that it's two contrasting vibes. It's kind of like the industrial and the outdoor woodsy, and it looks really cool. So I'm hoping that there is more uh, in the actual pack than what we see in the trailer. Obviously, I'm, <laughs> I've uh, had it with the full. Can you see them in the background? Can you, can you see this? Can you see this? He weighs like 10 pounds and he is convinced he's alpha dog. Literally acting like werewolves just because I'm watching the trailer. So the actual werewolves, um... I'm a little worried, <laughs> to be honest with you, and I'm gonna tell you why. Um, the, the look of the werewolves gives me extreme furry vibes, but I'm gonna try to hold that reservation uh, because I wanna give this game pack um, the benefit of the doubt. Uh, it's just the fact that they're like standing and like wearing collars and like sometimes wearing clothes, but sometimes not wearing clothes and it's like the pack cover has a werewolf with a collar but no clothes on and then all the werewolves in the video are like fully clothed and like humans and it's giving off like Zootopia vibes. So I'm not exactly sure what to make of that. I am terrified of what some corners of the modding community will do with this pack and I will just pretend I do not see it. I hope that they are as fleshed out of an occult as spellcasters and vampires are. Mermaids are kind of the lone wolf, no pun intended. Um, they're kind of the outlier in the sense that they are not that great of an occult because they were kind of shoehorned into an expansion pack instead of given their own game pack to kind of flourish. It's pretty cool that there is a world coming with a game pack. It doesn't happen uh, all the time. It doesn't happen very often even. I'm sure it's gonna be like three lots and super tiny, but it is at least another world. Now, hopefully it will be a uh, residential world and not just a destinational world because I don't know anybody that would wanna go on holiday or vacation to a land that is infiltrated by werewolves. And that's exactly what this looks like. It looks like there's some kind of secret society going on. I'm wondering if this is just like a town that happens to have werewolves in it or if it's a town that is run by werewolves or if it is a town that is just kind of built on the secret society of werewolves. I don't know. I'm assuming a lot of The Sims 4, I'm assuming uh, that they, you know, thought out all that lore, which is not, <laughs> is not typical of The Sims 4 team. So I'm sure it's not going to be that fleshed out, but I would kind of like it to be because that would make it so much cooler. Another thing that really gives off vampire vibes in the term vampire pack is the fighting. Um, and really spellcasters too because you can duel uh, each other and I hope that there's not just the friendly duel option because in the trailer it looked like they were very typical like Sims 4 like oh we're still friends. Um, I hope that you can kind of have like <laughs> enemy werewolf packs. Um, it would be really cool if you could use like the get together pack in conjunction with this to create like two warring factions of werewolf groups or like a werewolf group versus a vampire group versus a spellcaster group. That would be totally awesome. Um, I know that would be pulling in another pack, but it would be super awesome to be able to pull in that kind of cross pack compatibility. I do appreciate any time I can put chaos or arch nemeses uh, together in The Sims 4 because The Sims 4 is just too nice. It's just too nice and too peaceful and everybody just gets along and I like chaos. I hope that werewolves aren't just like basically Sims in a costume, if that makes any sense. I hope that they like have a different walk style because they were running all over creation in this teaser, but like I, it would be interesting to see how that would work in The Sims 4. So like you can make your vampires fly everywhere as a bat or teleport everywhere. Spellcasters can ride everywhere in a broom or teleport everywhere. So it'd be really nice to see a wolf be able to just like run everywhere and not have like the weird walk style of a sim because that will push it even further into like weird territory for me to see just like normal sims covered in hair because I don't know why but they just give off the cats vibe to me. They look they look less like werewolves and more like dogs with human faces. Um, kind of like how the cats were just cats with human faces in that 
catastrophe of a movie. I can't say I love the design of the werewolf in general. Um, the aesthetic of the pack, however, looks really promising. The punk grunge kind of vibe uh, mixed with like the woodsy industrialism. I like all that. That all looks great. But um, I don't necessarily, I, <laughs> I don't want anything that's close to like furry culture in my game. And I know, I know that that's, you know, not very, I, I don't know. I feel very conflicted about it. Um, so I'm just gonna stop and I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it at cautious optimism uh, in, in terms of the cast items and the build and buy items and the world that we're getting. And I'm going to lean into the caution on the werewolf side of things. Um, I just don't like that they have human faces. That freaks me out and hopefully, Hopefully I will be proven wrong and this will be an amazing pack because we could really use an amazing game pack after the last game pack. Okay guys, I know that that was a lot to just talk at you and this is the first time I've done a trailer reaction. So hopefully I, it goes well and hopefully I don't regret doing this uh, because I would like to do this kind of video in the future. This is quite an interesting uh, first reaction video, but I am excited Again, cautiously optimistic about this pack. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go check out my other content. And I will see you guys in the next video. But for now, I am not gonna go to bed. I am just gonna go worry more about furries. <laughs>